The third track on the album is a song called Snake Eyes, and um, it's, it was written again late in the evening. Um, I was actually in Berlin in a hotel room, and I was kind of trying to scramble the pieces of myself back together into one mess so that I could try and get some sleep and then go and do it all again the next day. And um, I felt for the first time, it's the first moment of the, the record that's quite voyeuristic. And it has this moment where you start looking in at the character rather than having the character completely tell you his side of the story. And, um, and that's how I felt in that moment. I was, I was in it quite a bad way. Um, you know, I'd, I'd fallen, um, I hadn't even got on the wagon, I'd fallen completely off it. And um, I was trying to, I was trying to come to terms with my relationship with alcohol and performing. And um, performing is a state that it puts you in a, in a world where you're subjected to, um, you know, gigantic highs and absolutely devastating lows. And the adrenaline that comes from that um, when, you know, can, can be, um, it can be sometimes a, a little bit too much to bear. Um, and what I hadn't realized was that alcohol is like the perfect depressant to bring me down off that ledge. Um, unfortunately, I, I found that much too late in my life. I was 28 when I started drinking. And, um, you know, the, that coupled with the fact that we were having some of the greatest shows I'd ever played in my life in a, in a 12 year career of music um, was just a pretty, uh, it was a recipe for um, many sleepless nights. So I wrote that song kind of as an ode to myself to, to um, wake up and, and get myself a bit better. You know, like I, I needed to be a bit sharper because I love music, I love playing music for a living and I, I didn't want to go the way so many of my friends and peers have gone. Um, and that song was a reminder to myself to, um, yeah, to, to get yourself in check pretty quickly. I don't want to be looking in at myself and feeling like disappointed at the choices I've made. Um, likewise, those choices are only mine to make. So um, I needed to find a way to be on the inside and on the outside all at once. And to be honest, you can't do that while you're drunk. Um, and with the, with the video, we again, um, we wanted to present, it was, we knew it was gonna be the first single from the album. And so what I really needed to do was I needed to present a new vision of me that was, that entirely smashed everyone's idea of, of who I was and what I was capable of, and mostly what they expected from me. And I think what people have become quite accustomed to with me and comfortable with me is this idea of me as a, as, um, a, a ball of angry energy. And that's, that's fine and it has its place. Um, but like I said before, I'm not just one thing. Like I, we are all many, many things. There's many sides of us. And um, for me, I wanted, I wanted to do something that was so out of character and that was a challenge to me um, that made me feel equally as powerful as I do while I'm, you know, um, screaming and playing hardcore music. And so I had this crazy idea to um, dress in drag and, and learn how to really fully embrace my feminine side in a way that I, I never have before. So I learned um, to dance. I got some lessons from some very good friends of mine who were really, really, um, really patient and um, were able to kind of take me through the steps one bit at a time for a month. Um, so thank you. Charlotte and Tita, I really appreciate it. And what they did was they, they gave me the confidence to say, you actually look really good, so you need, to, you need to embrace this and you need to push as hard as you can. And you know the goal was to be as convincing as we could be. 
so that when the viewer has watched the entire video, at the end they were, um, you know, shocked, but also just, um, I think what we wanted to achieve was like an impression on the viewer of saying like, okay, the game has changed now, the rules have changed, like everything we thought we knew about this person, we had him in a box and now the box is splintered wide open and he's running around like a madman doing whatever he wants. That was really important to me that I had this, that freedom going into this record because um, everything about this record is about freedom and uh, so for me that was, the, that was the most surefire way to get there quickly was to put myself on the line as something that I've never been before and nobody's ever seen me as and, um, and it felt really fucking good. I felt really strong, I felt really powerful. I think, in fact, to be honest, I feel more powerful in heels than I ever do screaming on stage, so you should try it.